Hi everyone, it's Tatiana. Thanks for joining me on another day of my journey of being a plant mama. Unfortunately, my plants and I are barely on speaking terms. They're a little mad at me right now because I abandoned them for two weeks, for a little over two weeks, and some of them are not looking too hot. They are not too happy. My roommate was here and she did water the plants and kind of maintain the ship. But I like didn't think this through. I was kind of in the winter brain mode and like, oh, they don't need as much water. They are not getting as much sunlight. It has gotten pretty hot and pretty warm. And the sun is streaming in through the windows all day long. This is an east facing window, so not all day, but it's pretty hot. And this morning I was like, oh God, I understand why a lot of my plants are really crispy right now and really burnt. So they're definitely gonna be needing more water, more fertilizer, all of that. I'm gonna kind of see how did my plants fare after being alone, let's say alone, for two weeks just because, you know, my roommate has other things going on, she's not super vigilant about it, it's more like, I was like, hey, can you water this, can you water that, but I wasn't really able to monitor what soil looked dry in person, what looked a little droopy, and I also think I left the wrong plants hanging in the window, I just kind of put some up there that looked cute, but I probably should have put more succulents and cacti and that kind of thing in the window and kind of scooted a lot of the plants back that were currently in the window during winter. So the plant that probably looks the worst is my, I think I identified this as a giant taro plant. I had an arrowhead plant in here that has died. It had a lot more leaves when I left, but this plant has been pretty good. The roots are strong, I think, because it'll keep popping out new leaves left and right. So I'm hoping that that will continue to be the case. I just gave it a good soak. Everything was so, so dry. Gotta get you, get you, get your head in the game. That's stuck in my head. On my eastern facing window here, I usually was trying to pack plants against it during the winter because the other window is north in the living room and I'm always worried do they get enough light, especially in the winter and I think it's just gotten so much brighter, so much hotter in the past couple of weeks that it's getting a lot of direct sunlight in the morning from there. This morning I woke up and I was like, oh my god, it's so bright, holy shit. And I had a lot of plants, this one was hanging in the window, and I think I really should have just scooted this one back, given it more bright indirect light instead of that direct, direct light. And I also had a couple other plants on there that just did not look too hot because of that, I think. The real victims were my bulbs that were on the sill, all kind of dried up. They probably needed a lot more water than I was reminding to go and check. Especially when you're not around, you're not as like vigilant about it and looking and you can tell right away when the soil's wet, you know, in person or when things look droopy, but when you're just trying to think about it, I was totally thinking about their winter watering schedule, which can be sometimes every two weeks, every three weeks, but now it seems like a lot more water is needed, which I mean is a good thing. I can't remember if I just fertilized this one or not. I have no recollection. I was recording a little bit of this before, but then my camera kind of got all messed up and I had to fix my setup. I don't want to over fertilize it, so let's just assume I did. Ooh, I don't know. I might give it a drop of fertilizer because I really don't remember. I'm kind of a mess. I feel so frazzled, honestly, just like the state of a lot of these plants and just the amount of things I have to do with the plants, like repotting. I've seen so many things that are root bound, things I still have nursery pots in. I've got new plants too. It has definitely been a little stressful just like thinking about it, but you know, you got to tackle it one thing at a time. So I'll let you guys know if we get any good growth coming back from here but for now it still has a leaf and that is a good sign this has gotten really big my golden pothos a couple of crispy leaves here that i'm gonna chop off that's just some yellowing leaves here trim off some of the yellow because it's ugly and this plant is pretty good about being kind of resilient. This is one I left right on the window too and I think it was not getting enough water for 
the amount of sunlight it was getting, but it has really, really grown since I last saw it too. It's finally overhanging on all of this, so it's looking really good. I just, there's some new leaves in here as well, so it is just so pretty. I've got new little baby leaves at the base. This is one I'm going to pull back into more indirect light. I don't think it needs to be super close to the window like I had it. Oh no. Oh no. I think this has bugs. Shit. I just saw them under the leaves. That's probably why the leaves were starting to yellow. Oh crap. This is what I get. So I've inspected the leaves. At least one of them has little black bugs crawling around. Absolute shit. I'm so upset. Okay. It's truly like the worst day of my life continues. This plant has aphids. I see them on the underside of the leaves crawling around. I don't even want to deal with this right now. I have so much other stuff going on. I see them crawling around on the underside of at least two leaves. I'm inspecting all of them now, which is probably why they were yellowing and getting these brown spots here that I was talking about earlier. I'm gonna start- what is that? Okay. I'm like freaking out. I'm going to start by just taking those off with like a cloth and water and just getting them off the plant. And then I'm gonna do some more research about what I can do to make sure they don't come back and to prevent it. I think I just need to buy right now an insecticide like a neem oil or something like that because I can't deal with all these bugs. It's just too much for me. Ugh. But on the bright side, I haven't seen any fungus gnats. Knock on wood. God. Everything goes wrong. That's just the life of being a plant parent. So I just blasted all of the under leaves of this plant under a stream of water just to knock off all of the bugs. I don't see any more under here. I do see the damage that was left behind. Don't forget to inspect your plants. If something's going wrong, you'll see it. So I've also got here just a little mix of water, apple cider vinegar, and some dish soap, and I'm just going to spray the under leaves and wipe them down with this just to be a little thorough. You should see the list of like 40 things that I had to do just for these plants to be a good mother. I'm gonna be super vigilant. I'm keeping this plant far away from the other plants because I don't want it to spread and I'm definitely gonna be inspecting everything super closely now to see if there's any bugs. I'll be checking in on them like every every day, every couple hours, honestly. I'm gonna be so vigilant now. It's honestly giving them a nice clean shine too while I'm at it, so that's nice. This is depressing. So yeah, I'm seeing now I'm really noticing a ton of damage on these leaves. I don't know how long that these bugs were on them, but I see tons of brown spots, yellowing. These are all indicators that you have a problem. <sighs> I'm inspecting everything now. Can you guys let me know if I did okay with the aphids or what your best... I think they're aphids. They were like little black things. They could have been spider mites, but they didn't really look like that to me. Let me know if there is a good thing that you've tried at home remedy or even a product that you've gotten that's been really good. I'm like not in the mood. I feel so upset about everything that's going on. I feel like when I was buying all my, I got all these new pots and I got fertilizer and all of that, I should have just bought some insect repellent because I feel like I'm having really big issues with insects recently. This is my Buddhist pine. It's still moist, so I'm not gonna give it water, but I am gonna pull off these yellowing leaves. You can see them here. I've got some, a lot of yellowing leaves and I guess I should be looking for bugs as well. And now I'm like so hyper aware and nervous about the bugs that I have. I think this has bugs. It's hard to tell. I think these might be 
spider mites instead of aphids because I'm seeing, I don't know if I'm imagining it, but I'm seeing some web-like shit. cry guys this is too much to deal with someone tell me what went wrong i think there's definitely bugs on this because i've never had problems with this many leaves yellowing or dropping on this plant before i need like a magnifying glass it is so hard to see there's these like bumps on the stem but i can't tell if those were always there or if there are bugs you know my plants were so mad at me for leaving them I've only had one or two minor breakdowns off camera, totally fine. I'm convinced now that everything has passed everything. To answer the question, how are my plants doing after leaving them alone for two weeks? Bad. They all look terrible. They all have- is it possible for all of my plants to have spider bites, aphids, and scale? and literally every other common household pest because I swear I see all of them. Everything is wrong. Everything is bad. That's how I feel. So my new course of action is to inspect all my plants for bugs, for pests, anything at all, and to set aside the ones that I think do have it. I didn't notice anything that screamed pests to me like it did with my pothos. My Buddhist pine, it's screaming something, but I don't know what exactly. It's definitely screaming something. Like I said, I'm a bad plant mom. Oh my god. This fern, wait, wait. I've got like these browning under leaves on the fern. I don't know if that's just from age or if there are pests on here. Wait, what the hell is this? Right now I'm wishing I had my fungus gnats back and not these bugs because at least the fungus gnats didn't destroy all the foliage on my plants. There's more plants set aside than anything else. I'm seeing like something here that is making me a little uncomfortable. I don't know if it's just dry or what. Do these get bugs? Does anything get but it's looking just really dry, honestly. Oh my god, I think I see a pup coming. That's a good sign. I think I see a little pup on the aloe. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's exciting. That's some good news. I haven't had much good news happening right now. That has made me feel better. I feel pretty low today, to be honest. Like a bad mother. Like when your child tells you they hate you for the first time, that's how I feel. Like, oh my god, I didn't even know that... They knew that word, you know? They didn't even know they knew how to hate me. Other than I guess you get used to it and you're like, oh, well, every one of my plants has fungus snaps, aphids, scale, mites, which is part of being a parent, I guess. That's not how I feel right now. I still feel devastated. <laughs> I feel like I've lost every bit of sanity I have left just looking at how many plants I have left to be inspoked. Yeah, I'm gonna... I think I have to just walk to things off camera at this point because I'm overwhelmed and there's too much to do. All right, thank you guys for joining me on this roller coaster of a day of plant care. I feel like the plants are worse off than I started because when I started they were just dry and now they all have pests, so isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? Let's just see if I can take some deep breaths and just finish watering and then inspect everything for bugs. So I went ahead and got some neem oil to deal with my little pest issue that I have here. I'm not sure exactly what pest was on these plants or still is. It kind of looked like a lot of the pests on the internet, but this here is an organic insecticide, fungicide, miticide, basically a pesticide that's derived from the neem tree. And this is going to help 
with the preventative measures as well as treating the pest. So I've heard a lot of good things about it and I'm excited to give it a try. You can get it in a lot of different types. Here I have the concentrate, which will be diluted with water. But you can also get the cold press neem oil, the neem oil spray that's already diluted, really whatever. This is the one that was available for me to pick up, curbside pickup from the store. And I am going to basically dilute it with water. You're supposed to do one gallon of water to a tablespoon of neem oil. Here I have a 10 ounce sprayer. So I'm going to do about a quarter of a teaspoon. How I did that math, a lot of conversions. I hope I did it right. I'm not really sure, don't, don't at me about my math, but I do think that that will be about the amount of neem oil that's needed. Initially, the day I noticed it, it's actually been a few days now since I was able to get the neem oil, but the very day I noticed it, I went and sprayed the entire plant, all of its underleaves, several times with a strong gust of water. So that knocked off all of the pests that I was able to visibly see, and I've been inspecting it and haven't seen any of those pests come back again. I've just noticed the browning on the leaves that's been there, but none of those crawling black bugs that I saw earlier. So this hopefully will be a preventative thing. I also separated a bunch of plants that just kind of looked a little suspicious to me. I started to think everything was a pest now, like any little speck, any piece of dirt, I was like, uh, is that a pest? Because I really just don't know and I know they're so microscopic and sometimes you need a freaking, what's it called? Magnifying glass to see them, which I don't have. So I'm just going to kind of treat everything with the spray, spray it all down and hopefully this will help with my issues. And just a hint of soap to help the oil and the water emulsify. Now this was the main thing I had a concern about because here you see this sort of fungus growing on in my jade plant. So even though I was able to knock off with water the pests here and didn't see them come back, I did want to use this as a preventative measure, but I also wanted to use it as a treatment here on these succulents. I will definitely let you guys know if this helped. Don't forget not to feel too stressed out if you see pests or anything wrong with your plants. We can figure it out, we can handle it together. Make sure to wear gloves. I didn't when you wear your neem oil because you may have an allergic reaction. I didn't, but take precautions if you need. And make sure not to spray your neem oil when there's too much sun, it could sunburn the plants. So I did it when the sun was starting to go down, closer to the evening because that way it'll be there overnight to kind of do its thing on the plants. All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope that your plants are pest free and I hope mine remain pest free. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And you can continue to follow my journey and my emotional distress every single time I post because I'm always distressed. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.